In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys this smooth teleportation effect that you can use in your music videos or any sort of video that you're editing and you want to give it some sort of unique effect. Let me just point out that I did this very rough just to showcase the template of actually how to do the effect, but you guys can clean it up and perfect it to the way you want to, especially if you're doing this on a paid project for a client, etc. But without further ado, make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's dive straight into this video. So once you've got your clip that you want to showcase this effect, you basically want to right click and go to replace with After Effects Compositions. Once After Effects opens up, I'll show you what to do next. So once you've got your clip in After Effects, you want to make sure you click on it and go to the Rotor Brush tool and start Rotor Brushing your subject. For this video, I'm doing it very rough, but for when you're actually doing it for a paid project or client, make sure that you do this you know, as smooth as possible. You don't want them complaining about how rough the effect looks or, you know, you just want to make sure it just looks clean, basically. Okay, so as you can see, we have rotoscoped our subject out. And if you click here, you can see the transparent. That's all done. Okay, cool. So the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you freeze this subject. And then you want to duplicate your layer and you want to unfreeze this layer and go to invert foreground background and then you want to freeze everything that's in frame there so now we've got both sequences frozen with the way we want them to be and we've inverted our background there so if i actually click the eye symbol on our second sorry on our first layer you can see that this is the inverted background that we're going to be working on so what you want to do is you basically want to click on your second layer and you want to go to content aware fill now make sure all the settings are the same make sure everything is the way that you're seeing it on the screen so that you know we can actually work on this properly and we're going to click on generate fill layer okay we're going to click the eye symbol so we can see what we're we're generating the fill layer with so click that so now, as you can see, we have actually made our subject disappear and he is not in frame anymore. So this is what's gonna enable us to do this effect. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna bring the fill layer underneath the second layer so that now we have our rotoscope layer here. Okay, so next thing I usually do is I just work on the feather. So I give the subject a slight feather, let's just say up until 15%. And then the next thing I like to do is go to our first layer and go to transform. This is where all the magic's gonna happen. This is where you're gonna be doing the actual teleporting effect. So we're gonna start from the beginning of the clip. We're gonna um, keyframe position and we're gonna keyframe our scale. Then I'm gonna move a couple frames forward. Let's just say one, two, three, four. And then I'm actually going to move the subject to the left a slight tad and we're gonna increase the scale to let's just say 120 and bring that down a little bit so now as you can see we've moved our subject to the right then I'm gonna do another one two three four frames let's say five actually and then I'm going to move our position again to the left and then bring it down around there and we're gonna decrease the scale back to 100. So now we've got it moving to the right, then to the left, and then we're gonna go again, kind of the same amount of keyframes. We're gonna move this, sorry, we're gonna move this around, let's just say here, so it's covering this person. And then we can increase our scale a little bit more. So it's gonna give that sort of effect that we're teleporting and then we cover that person so we're going one two three and then we can let it move a slight tad and then around here we can move it to the middle and give it more of a zoom again and just keep it to the left just a little bit so now you can see one two three four and then around here, I'd say, as he puts his arm up there, we're gonna 
reset these keyframes so that it goes back to its original position. So now you can see we've got a normal effect. It's, you know, it's looking very choppy at the moment, but the next thing I like to do is make sure our motion blur is on. So it creates a nice effect here. So as you can see, it's looking more, you know, cinematic with that effect. And then we can highlight our keyframes and click F9 to smoothen it out. So now it's got more of a teleporting effect, okay? And then what I like to do is I like to give a little bit of shift edge, let's say minus 60. So we can't see too much of the outlines there. So that's looking much more smoother as well. Okay, so once we got that basic down and covered, the next thing you want to actually do is you want to add a duplicate of this and you want to go to the bottom layer and you want to go to effects and add an echo. Now, the echo I'm going to add is a preset that I made myself, but you can actually just make a similar echo with your own settings, but this is my own echo, so I'm going to add this onto the second layer. And as you can see, it's covering the screen on the actual you know, video. We only want it on the effect. So we're gonna go a couple frames forward. And as you can see around here is where that disappears. So we're gonna drag the second layer to around here so that now we don't have you know, any echo on our screen apart from the effect around here, which will render through later. Now, the second thing I like to do is basically smoothen out the background so as you can see if we zoom in here and i show you guys all of this this is looking a bit choppy because this is what we've you know taken out we've used the fill layer and we've replaced it with this so that we can have our subject move around but what you want to do is to clean this up the first thing you, you basically want to do is go to your fill layer and go to effects and type in blur and you want to add gaussian blur to this layer and you just want to increase the blurriness of this but at the same time try not to blur it so much so it looks too bait if that makes sense it's just a nice teleportation of the artist but ways to make this cleaner would be to actually when it lands in place here you can just delete the layers that are not needed so for example your fill layer you're not going to need this so you can delete this and just make sure that everything is landing back in place okay so as you can see our effect has been created and then we've actually landed back in place to where we was so it's very 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 simple it's very clean um, you can actually make this effect more, you know, cinematic and efficient to the way you want it to look. But this is very rough, like I said. So if we go back into Premiere Pro, so the next thing you can do with this effect, you can just make it look a little bit more cleaner. So as you can see, the background there comes in. So what I would usually do and what I can do is basically add an adjustment layer between that cut right there. Sorry. There we go. Like this. And then... Add a, added to dissolve in between it, a bigger, um, I think I'm gonna make the adjustment layer bigger so that when the flash comes in, and then when the subject is teleporting, each time it moves, so when it moves to the left there, you can add a flash or a bass bump. I'm actually gonna showcase it with a nice little shake. Again, I will be showcasing these bass bumps in some of my videos very soon. But for today, I'm just going to slap my bass bump on there. So once we've, once we move, so once we move to the left there, I add a bass bump. Or actually, I'll do it when, when we land around here, because we got a flash there. And then when he lands back in here, I'll add another bass bump. So as you can see, that's your effect. But what you can do is as well, you can add flashes on top of the bass bumps as well. So it looks more, you know, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm happy with that. It's very rough, but again, this is just to showcase you how to do the effect. What I would usually do is I'd go back, I'd look at the movement and I'd say, you know what? I want it to move more to this way, more to the left, you know? I would make sure that I line everything up again so it gives it, you know, still a nice echo. So that's rendered through and that is our final effect. As you can see, just a nice movement there, nice teleportation. Again, I can do this much more cleaner, but it's just an example to show you guys on actually how to just do the effect in its own way. And then you can then, of course, clean it up yourself. I appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank you for subscribing. We're so close to 2K subscribers. Let's get there. Um, my goal is 10K for next year, man. Not by next year, but well, anytime next year, I want to reach 10K subs on this channel. So, yeah, let's just do it, man. Let's get there. I'm going to be a little bit more consistent. Um, but, yeah, apart from that, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.